All right, welcome back to Daytime Tri-Cities. We're excited to be learning all about the AP Access for All program. Of course, one of the many programs through the Nicewanger Foundation. And we've got some students here with us that are gonna share their perspective. We've also got a high school counselor with us. We wanna welcome Natalie Ripley, and then we have Shannon Russell, the counselor from Chucky Doak High School, and then Morgan Solomon, who is a student at West Green High School. And let's start with you. First of all, as a counselor, what's it like to have these programs and have access to these programs? It's a great opportunity for our students. It gives them classes that we may not be able to offer. With county schools especially, we can't offer classes every class period. And it gives flexibility to our students. So if they want classes they want to take, but then they've got the AP, we have flexibility with scheduling, and it gives a rigor to the students of if they want to take more challenging classes. How long have you been a counselor? Eight years. Eight years. What have you seen as far as them being more prepared than for the college level? I think they're definitely prepared. The AP classes, um, if they take the AP exam at the end of the classes, if they score a three, four, or five, it gives them the opportunity to earn college credit. So they're getting a high school credit and a college credit, and I think it prepares them um, for post-secondary education, and I think the colleges and universities see that. Yeah, that's wonderful. And Natalie, I know this is your counselor, so you're here with your counselor today. You've taken several AP classes. How many have you taken? Um, uh, like, have you about ten, I have seven somewhere around there. Wow, too many for me. And <laughs> I have heard. Of course, she doesn't want to brag, but I have heard you've done extremely well. What has it been like to have access to those classes? Um, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoy the self pacing aspect of it, um, in addition to being able to explore uh, topics that I enjoy more mm -hmm. uh, in depth, um, whether that be historical topics or I'm in art history right now and that's been really exciting that to is. dive into. And they're, they're extremely hard classes, right? <laughs> I mean, so you've done extremely yes. well. Thank you. <laughs> how, how do you think it is when you have the online and you're getting access to these teachers? And I know the relationships that you build with them are so important. Yeah, um, uh, the software that we use typically is Canvas. Mm -hmm. And they uh, submit a lot of submission comments. And it's a lot of feedback back and forth that way, uh, which I've really appreciated. And it's helped me grow as a student, I think. That is wonderful. And then we also have a freshman in high school. And you're taking a couple of the AP classes. Tell me about what you're involved in. So I am currently taking AP Human Geography and AP Psychology. And while they are challenging, I feel that these classes will help me in the long run. Yeah. Yeah, because while they are challenging, they will help develop my skills in the long run. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know what? I have a student that just went through that AP Human Geography and they mm -hmm. loved it. And yeah. to be able to learn on that level and of course helping you guys out, wonderful. And I know as a counselor, that's exciting to see. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. I like the success that our students are having with AP. Yeah, so so blessed to have programs like this available in all the different high schools throughout the state. Thank you guys both so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for being Thank here. You. To learn more about the AP Access program, you can always visit the website. That's nicewangerfoundation.org.